Clothing Class 2290 Winter Safety Made Real. This companion disc contains an introduction you're listening to now, four video segments to support the audio class, and a bonus Blizzard video. Chapters 2 through 5 on this DVD are to support in the Winter Safety Made Real class Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and Part 5. Chapter 2 is Jim's Resolute Bay Hypothermia Graph. And it's important to understand the physiology of staying warm. It's really, it comes down to how does the body respond to the cold. In this section, it's like, well, breakfast at 13 below zero with bare hands. How is that? And what's hypothermia really look like? What does it feel like? Chapter three is hang tag performance ratings. And what are clothing comfort rating hang tags good for anyway? I mean, what's the truth really about these when you take a look at these numbers that are on boots and sleeping bags and coats and things like that? Chapter 4 is insulation water test and how to go about selecting the best possible cold weather clothing insulation. You know, the stuff inside of it that actually will help trap the heat in. What are the kinds of things you could use? We have some of the natural things like cotton and down and wool and synthetics. What's the truth really about those and how they handle moisture? Chapter 5 is winter clothing evaluation and comparison. How can you evaluate and compare different parts of your winter clothing? Whether it's things that you already own in your closet or you're going out to buy some new things. And this is to help you look at things with a different understanding, a new understanding, and have the ability to predict how they may in fact perform even before you own them. So it's about footwear and it's about what you put on your hands and your, your face and your head and how you take care of your feet. Uh, keeping warm feet is a real challenge sometimes for people. Of course, that ties back in the physiology we've talked about. What does it look like when it's really, really right? What are the kinds of things that you can do? And Chapter 6 is a bonus video. It's an extreme blizzard interview with six Snow College participants. And the question people ask is, do all these principles in this class really work? Well, let's listen to what some actual users have to say while living in what most of the world would consider to be deadly dangerous conditions. In this video, you'll hear an interview with students that are actually on the mountain in an extreme blizzard. But something else you can do is listen to the story of this couple who attended an earlier snow college, they were also on the one in the blizzard, and hear what they have to say as first-time users out in an environment that was brand new and quite extreme, although not quite as extreme as their third time at snow college. Go to safeharboralliance.com, look for a button or a banner that will say something like Winter Without Worries and Pals, click on that, that will bring you to an index page, a landing page where you'll find quite a number of things there, but what you're looking for is a winter without worries experience. And listen to what this couple have to say and some of the troubles they went through, but the key point is at no point was Connie cold, and that allowed her to go through the other difficulties. Had she been cold, she would have bailed out. Now, in the interview on the mountain, you're going to hear people in this blizzard talking about their experience. And just notice when you look at it, the, as you look carefully, you can see the snow that's whipping by in a few places and the wind, and they're plastered with snow, and they're out there in these wind chills that are way below zero and living outside without tents, without shelters of any kind to get into and stay in and live in, just behind a windbreak so you don't get blasted all the time. And you can learn more about their experiences, other experiences, and how you can do these things, again, by going to safeharboralliance.com, looking for Winter Without Worries and Pals, and both read information, watch and listen to things that are there, and there's new things being posted regularly. I would suggest that as you go through the audio courses, if you're set up so that you could pause when you hear the announcements of the ones that will be for Part 2, 3, 4, and 5, that if you can, pause the audio, watch the video, and then come back and listen. Or if it's easier for you to listen all the way through and come back and watch the segments, that'll work too. At any rate, on with the show. Music. 